peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you are living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. Hmm. King of Wands wants to say something. Wheel also wants to say something. This is fire energy. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Someone. Hmm. Someone taking some time to reflect on something. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Wands. Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing the writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. Okay, that's what's coming out. Let's see what what we can get regarding this five of pentacles energy. Five of pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if this is your energy, Scorpios. This five of pentacles energy here. All right, is this Scorpio's energy? Okay, this is an earth sign. Okay, you're dealing with an earth sign here, possibly a Capricorn, Virgo, <clears throat> more Virgo energy. Um, and I'm getting this is also your energy, Scorpios. Okay, so... With this Five of Pentacles energy here, you are... Hmm. You are looking at the pieces of the puzzle, is what I'm hearing. Looking at the pieces of the puzzle. Putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And trying to figure out what piece goes next. Into the puzzle, okay? This is your energy, um, and I'm and I was I'm getting Earth energy because it's 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 about the Pentacles here. It's literally about the Pentacles. It's about manifesting the Pentacles here. That's the energy that you're in. Like this is in regards to your creativity. Like when I see this card, I almost get this energy of like this dancer, this 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 uh ballerina so to speak that's like taking a break right now taking a break to you know stretch stretch themselves as they go into their recital is what i'm hearing okay working at your craft your legs may be a little tired you, you may be a little tired and it's like You've literally locked yourself up in a room working on your craft. You know, for many of you, you're not really interacting with a lot of people at this time is what I'm hearing. Um, you are getting ready for your recital. You are getting ready for your, your big show. And I'm getting this energy of the lights, camera, action energy. Like you are literally backstage you know meditating thinking about you know all the moves that you put together you know your choreography scorpio the choreographer here like and in this case what you're choreographing is just the steps to your success there's a lot of um there's there's this energy of success that's coming your way you are about to step into the spotlight and this magician card here is literally holding the spotlight in their hand. So you may have someone at this time um, that may be revealing themselves to you. This is also someone may be communicating about you. Someone may be communicating or talking about you is what I'm hearing. And look at this six of swords. 
Okay, walking away to calmer waters. All right, so let's get let's get the energies one step at a time here. So there's there's definitely an energy of you working on your craft. Okay, very much focus. Um, you are gathering your information. You know, putting the pieces together, working on your craft, getting ready for the spotlight is what I'm hearing. Uh, and I'm hearing step in, Scorpio, step into the spotlight. You are the magician. You have manifested this. The magician is holding the light in their hand. Okay. This is you. This is you holding your own light, the bearer of light. Okay. Spirit is reminding you at this time you are the bearer of light to embrace the light okay scorpio you're one of those <laughs> you are someone who it, you know that you are a light bearer you bring light to humanity and yet sometimes it may be challenging for you to step into the spotlight to be the the center of attention why because you know you exude the characteristics of a scorpion the scorpion likes to do what they like to crawl under rocks and you know um <laughs> and basically they find most comfort you know in the dark like you are the realm of the mothers you know and spirit is also wanting you to know that you know you have you you also have many elements within you okay um you are fire energy because you are this phoenix reborn continually giving birth to yourself okay so there's fire energy there and there's light energy there okay um and so spirit is wanting you to know this that you have this spark you have the ability to create the light to give others the light and mm, and as the magician i'm seeing like i'm seeing cup pentacles and swords energy here if you pay close attention on the magician's table is the pentacles the cups and the swords energy all in there so what spirit is saying to me right now is you are manifesting you are manifesting air i'm seeing fire air and fire air earth and water elements like you are literally working with the elements you and, and in this case what spirit is saying is you're manifesting something in regards to that has to do with communication okay so for many of you you have different elements on your magician's table okay you have different elements on your magician's table so what you're manifesting right now has to do with communication it has to do with you know touching aspects of speaking it has to do with speaking uh, many of you are working on projects relating to speaking and cr creativity creating something around speaking and for many of you uh this creative energy is coming by way of writing okay there's higher knowledge being given to you at this time as you're manifesting spirit is wanting you to know that you have great skill when it comes to this okay um to use creative visualization so that way you can manifest um what you want and what spirit is also saying is during this full moon period you're going to be noticed you're going to be in the spotlight okay you're going to be in man you what you have manifested okay what you have manifested in the new moon cycle spirit is confirming to you that those rituals that you did during the new moon cycle to bring forth the new okay during the full moon you're going to see those things come to fruition and many of you i'm getting this energy of a lot of different energies coming through here like it really has a lot of it has to do with 
beautifying your space part of it is beautifying your space i'm releasing a lot of energy relating to that um i'm seeing a lot of energy regarding like speaking your mind and just being up front and speaking what you what you will um i'm also seeing a lot of energy regarding your relationship and your money okay so many of you have been working on 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 manifesting you know beautifying your home space some of you have also been working on some aspect something relating to communication this may be writing a book this may be writing a new manuscript or preparing for you know a business plan of some sort and the cup represents uh the relationship that you or have always wanted and if you notice the cup comes before the pentacles so for many of you this relationship is always bringing is also bringing an abundance in in your finances working together with this person to bring you success and victory so that way you can walk towards calmer waters and for many of you this six of swords here has to do with traveling overseas uh, many of you have have been thinking about traveling overseas feeling a sense of nostalgia is what I'm hearing um, wanting to connect with with something that is overseas okay it's a lot it's a lot coming out here um okay let me see okay so i'm going to i'm going to get some information on the magician's card just to clarify that you know regarding what was said in terms of manifesting um okay what you should be working on what you should be focusing on at this time in terms of manifesting Okay, I definitely see something relating to the cups energy. So focusing on your spiritual growth is always important. This page of cups, you know, work on your psychic power is what I'm hearing. This is why the cups energy was there. Um, hmm. This is also relating to the ideas that you have spirit is saying you you you've been working on some really good ideas writing some things down and spirit is giving you the thumbs up okay so you should be focusing on those things that you have currently written like the things that you have written down okay so spirit is saying at this time you know you could definitely keep writing and the things that you have written down during the new moon cycle that those things are currently being manifested and spirit wants you to focus on this okay your psychic powers i'm getting some energy regarding you know doing rituals moon rituals okay that will increase your intuition work on your root chakra okay i'm, I'm also hearing that there there's some healing that needs to be placed in terms of some someone that you were connected to your past okay that you're still healing from you've moved away from and you're healing from them and spirit is wanting you to engage in some some rituals to manifest what you've what you've wanted because this person that you walked away from obviously wasn't giving you their cup they wasn't giving you what you wanted okay um focus on these new beginnings that's coming to you okay this is like really giving the energy of like your intuition your psychic powers this is what spirit wants you to focus on at this time okay your intuition your psychic powers uh cr your creative spark those are the things that spirit wants you to focus on at this time and a lot of the other things that came out in your energy spirit is saying they will naturally come to you uh, this new beginning also refers to manifesting, you know, like some passionate beginnings, some good news, you know, relating to your talent, what you're really good at, you know, what you what you know, inherently, like it takes no effort for you to put out the work. Okay, this is what spirit is saying for you to 
continually focus on during this full moon energy and spirit is saying that there's a great emphasis on leg butt energy opening the portals okay um the full moon falls on a number relating to doors opening which is either july 3rd or 4th so july 3rd the number three signifying doors opening portals opening okay you have access so whatever it is that you give your attention to at this time you're going to manifest okay and if it's july 4th for you this is having to do with stability and this is why the cups energy is also here because this is relating to you know your partnerships your relationships okay this is what's on the magician's table is what i'm hearing you're manifesting your desires and this full moon is really giving um a lot of emphasis on this look at this you, you have an emperor energy in your you know in your in your energy like it's you have an emperor energy in your energy okay you you have the emperor okay representing boss energy okay representing um you know you being in control you being you having a sense of discipline being logical stable um being an authority figure the focus right now spirit is saying is on your spiritual gifts developing your spiritual gifts because that's what's going to make way for the money to come okay and this is why this is here okay this is why this appeared because what spirit wants you to focus on it fo spirit wants you to go inward and focus on your spiritual gifts because that's that's how the pentacles are going to come your spiritual gifts again is going to make way for these pentacles to come and you are manifesting this and you get to engage in you know um, moon rituals and for many of you um you know there's a lot of there's a lot of rituals that you can use to manifest what you want depending on what it is that you are looking to manifest um and regardless of what it is water is always an essential element to give you access because water gives access to the spiritual realm okay all all the elements give access to the spiritual realm and spirit is reminding you that the element in which you came is the element that gives you access to all other realms is what i'm hearing so you're in boss energy look at this this is also you this is also confirmation regarding what we just said like focus on those spiritual gifts focus on your spiritual knowledge you get to enrich yourself you get to educate yourself regarding all aspects of your spiritual gift like there's a there's a lot of spiritual um enlightenment and elevation that's in your energy right now um you know there are people that want to share knowledge with you and as you wanting to share knowledge with others as well for many of you i'm hearing that this hierophant represents marriage that's coming to you very soon a union uniting with someone who is your divine counterpart is what i'm hearing okay and spirit is also wanting you to you to know that whoever is in your current energy at this time best believe scorpios like they are here to move you forward okay you may still have some folks in the background you know that may be looking for you and spirit is saying don't you know don't start nothing won't be nothing like there's there they're they're just background they're just background background noise um yeah um there may be something going on you know you know during ho some holiday season relating to you know your spiritual elevation relating to maybe some decision that's coming um towards you some type of um you know some type of like elevating you know, like you're being elevated in terms of like your spiritual your spirituality your crown chakra i'm hearing it's being elevated and there's that focus on the speaking again y'all like there's something about you and speaking is what i'm hearing um and there's great emphasis on that okay so this may have to do with speaking to someone 
or you speaking to others as it relates to your spiritual elevation, sharing the knowledge with others. Spirit is wanting you to know that this will also uh, allow you to elevate spiritually, give you great strength, connect you to the divine. Okay, connect you to the divine, connect you uh, to your higher knowing. And li literally, this is about spirituality. Like I'm getting this energy that this... This reading is about what's on your table as the magician. And what's on your table as the magician is literally your third eye chakra being like, you know, propelled into the next dimension, being able to see things that you didn't see before. And Spirit is reminding you that this is your spiritual gift. This is this spiritual gift that was passed down to you, that was given to you through your lineage is making way for your pentacles to come to flourish um and and naturally this is going to bring to you healing this is going to bring to you a connection of course to the divine and recognition and 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 look at you you are already in your ind independent wealth very secure and this is also representing prosperity there's a great focus on this earth energy okay um i believe this this full moon is in capricorn which is very much related to you know making your money grow okay and if you're wanting to know how to make it grow spirit is letting you know look at what's on your magician's table okay and this is what's going to allow you to um you know make your money grow <laughs> that's it okay let's see what um the ancestors are saying about this reading uh you know what i always okay overall energy of this reading spirit let me just get okay i'm seeing something about avoiding conflict okay so there may be something regarding avoiding conflict um there may be something regarding uh, getting in your power, okay, where this represents lack of power, hopelessness. Uh, this is representing by like what's in your energy is basically saying that you being tapped into what's on the magician's table is really allowing you to be in the state where you are at the end of a cycle of conflict at the end of a cycle of struggle at the end of, you are at the end of a cycle of hopelessness you have a great amount of hope okay you're also at the end of a cycle where you didn't have love it has come to you it is here okay you have choices you have paths you are traveling towards uh you know new paths at this time and things are really manifesting very quickly for you. And I'm getting this real this energy about holiday romances. So over the holidays, uh, there may be some emphasis on, you know, something. Okay, romance. You know, you're definitely being protected uh, against heartaches and divisions. And you know, this is what spirit is wanting to you, you, you to know. Um, so. All these things are coming to you is what Spirit is saying. And you only need to look at what's on your magician's table. Look at it. All right. Okay, ancestors. Oh, this one came out really fast. Okay. Okay, tenant pleasure. Take pleasure. All right, number 11. Okay, and again, this is like this is the this is this is manifestation number eleven one one. Okay, as the magician one 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 one. You are manifesting this. You are manifesting this, Scorpios. It is coming to you. All right. Um. So let's see number eleven here. Let's see ten at pleasure. Tenet, goddess of pleasure, Tunisia, temporal, conjurers. Okay, this makes sense. A magician is a conjurer, someone who manifests. Element, air. Okay, Tenet was the goddess of the stars in ancient Carthage. Today, all the way over in Ibiza, they still have pleasure-filled full moon midnight table dancing parties in her name. We were talking about the magician's table, weren't we? 
okay you are thirsty for more pleasure you can't thrive when life feels dry you are made of laughter and stardust not sawdust pleasure is your birthright a gift from the universe embodiment how much juicy pleasure can you stand turn up the pleasure principle you secretly feel that you don't deserve it but pleasure is a healing and manifesting force laughing loving and orgasmic orgasmic joy is holy Hold your hands over your reproductive area and say aloud, I deserve pleasure. Goddess declaration. It feels good to feel good. And this is really interesting that this card came out because um, Spirit is reminding you to match the vibrational energy of that which you are looking for. So if, if you are looking to have an abundance in your pentacles, then you you get to match the vibrational energy of already having it okay think about what it what does it feel like to be in that abundance and match that vibrational frequency and this is how you're able to manifest and it's interesting that this came out because this is the ancestors reminding you you are going to manifest and part of manifesting is to you know already be in a state of pleasure already be in a state of bliss okay and look at this like i see this high priestess you know on the bottom of the deck here wanting to say something you are the high priestess you are the high priestess the magician the one who's highly intuitive connect to you know your pleasure principle okay see and connect with what's on your magician's table and at this time you have a lot of tools to work with here. You have a lot of tools to work with. And first and foremost, the thing that's going to get you, you know, everything else you need is to match the vibrational frequency of the things that you are looking to have. Live your bliss, live your pleasure, and happy manifesting, Scorpios. All right, y'all. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and light.